In the Appalachian Mountains near Front Royal, Virginia, a tower rises above the trees. It sits on land owned by the Smithsonian Institution. The tower is part of an ambitious ecological science project funded by the National Science Foundation. It's called NEON. NEON is the National Ecological Observatory Network. Um, it's comprised of uh, an array of 20 different domains. Each domain has a core site like we're at right now. In all, NSF is spending about half a billion dollars to build about 80 NEON sites across the United States. Some will have towers like this one that will stay in place for 10 to 30 years. The towers are packed with instruments that measure all kinds of things, temperature, sunlight, and the movement of gases between the land and the air. NEON's goal is to monitor what's happening to climate, land use, and biodiversity on a continental scale. There's a lot of great science already out there, a lot of long-term ecological research sites. The difference with NEON is that we're compiling a data set where we're collecting data the same way, at the same time, across the continent. Around the towers, researchers will be tracking plants and animals, including beetles. NEON also includes sites at streams and lakes. Many researchers are excited by NEON's potential. I heard of NEON close to five years ago. I was working at Duke, I, I thought to myself, what an audacious project, you know, to be part of something like that. And the insights NEON produces could have an influence far beyond science. I think certainly in the future, NEON will help inform policymakers. NEON is, is a tool. It's, if you will, a Hubble, the Hubble Space Telescope pointed back at the Earth. We're trying to understand trends, capture those trends, uh, describe them, and then also show how those things are uh, changing our ecosystem. Once we understand that, I think it'll be much easier to make decisions that are grounded in true science.